Why are you constantly in spiritual warfare and you feel as if you're being attacked? An operation of his glory to be used by his highest to operate down here on this earth, to be used by his greatness, ushering in life instead of death and to so many different of his children down here on this earth. All glory given to God, for he is the only one who is worthy. Blessed be his name. Now, now, family, okay, now, I'm going to explain to you why you are hated. I'm going to explain to you why you are spiritually attacked, family. Now, look at this. Okay, let there be light, and there was light, and God saw the light that it was good. And God divided the light from the darkness and God called the light day and he called the darkness he called night. Now, you might say like Jehosa, why you say that for? Because that's what you are in this world, family. You are the light, family. You yourself is the light, family. You are the light. And from what you know about people that breed in the darkness they see your light on you, family. They see your love, and it's a constant reminder of what they are not. So when you're being persecuted, I want my brothers and sisters to pay homage to your Lord because you're doing what you have to do. If you look like the world, you wouldn't be persecuted at all. And your master said that they hated him first. So they going to hate you as well. Your master, he said that all those who love him will love you. So that should let you know right there that not all people is going to love you, going to receive you, is going to want to be your friend, is one going to help you. The Lord, he said, the only people that will receive you is those who love me. He said by his own words, he said, if they hate you, they hated him first. So my brothers and sisters, y'all got to take advantage when you out there and you being hated at your job or you being hated at school or you've been hated out in the world is because of what you stand for. It's because of what you believe in and the evilness. It sees the darkness, family. It sees it sees the dark when they see when they see the mother people, they in the dark family, they festering. They all getting along. And when you come around, brother, when you come around, sister, they have to flee to the corners of the of the shadows because of the light that you possess inside of you when they see you brother to all my priests and all my priestess all my queens and all my kings all my prophets and all my prophetess out here in this world when they see you you light up the whole room and it's a constant reminder of who they truly are light does not mix with darkness family you can either have one or you have the other. But God said in this word that darkness will never prevail against the light. So I don't care that you at work and that darkness is getting at you. Your God said that darkness will never prevail against the light family. So he didn't already gave you the tools just by you being yourself and operating out of love, respect, honor and being humble. These are all qualities in which they do not possess family. If you love, you live. God is love, family. You didn't heard it a million times, but that same love gives you light. So I want you to rejoice in your time of being persecuted, because if you can, if you can rejoice when you at the job or you at the work or you at the school, wherever you might be, my prophet, wherever you might be, my prophet is out here in this world. If you can rejoice when you're being persecuted, those things like that. Put a smile on on your master's face. It really does. It lets him know that he doesn't have to worry about you at all. If you are surrounded with darkness and you're the only thing that is light, family. Evil, evil communications de destroys goodness, family. So this is why, family, you know what I'm saying? They are trying to destroy you and try to overtake you with their darkness, but they cannot win. This is why you, your spiritual fight, family, your spiritual man or your spiritual woman, that you're constantly engaged in battle with the principalities of darkness is because your light outshines their darkness and it makes them feel so damn bad about themselves that they have to attack it, family. 
They have to attack it. But your God and your master both gave you the keys that you need. Family, when they look at you, family, they see the name of, the, of your God in, your, in the middle of your forehead. When they look at you, sister, they see the key of David that's already in your hand. Brother, when they look at you, they see the yoke that your master has already placed over your neck to symbolize that you are a child of the forever living God. So when you are being persecuted in this world for the love that you already have to give, that emboldens you, family, to do even more. I do not want you to look at it, oh, oh, Jesus, I'm always going through it. Oh, oh Lord, I'm always going through it. It's because the light that you already have, and they cannot win, family. They cannot win. They know that. So just imagine the light that you carry inside of yourself, that love, that peace, that honor that is preserved and it's rekindled by the power of God. Know that that same love that you that you have, the light that is inside of you, is confirmation on who you are. It's confirmation on who your God is. And it's also confirmation of what you are already up against. So I don't want you. I want you fret not family. I want you to be I want you to be emboldened in this joyous spirit letting you know what i'm saying letting your own self know to where you're going and why you are fighting so hard i want you to give glory to god i want you to tell him god i'm being persecuted down here but i'm doing it for the glory of you those things make god proud of you family those things make god reassured that his child is doing the right thing in this walk of life family so fret not my brother fret not to my sister it's a reason why you going through all of that spiritual warfare is because of the light that you have. Remember, light cannot, it can't mix with darkness, family. It cannot, family. So you see it on the job. You see it at your school. You see it in your neighborhood. You see it in your friends. You see it in your family, all surrounding you. So what are you supposed to do now? You supposed to give up? You're supposed to tuck your tail and run. You're supposed to cry me a cry, 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 baby. Because you got to fight. This is your race, family. This is what you have to deal with and endure. But know and understand why you are being experiencing this, this hatred manifested in your life. Now, I got to get going, but peace and blessings be multiplied into your bosom. Let God's grace and let his mercy be abundant to your very day, for he is a worthy God and there is none other.